I'm HDI X subject matter expert Joel Hewitt, and today we're talking about one of the most significant technological trends facing the future of the fighting force, wearable devices. Wearables, originally known as wearable computers, are electronic devices designed with the human body in mind. This means that as a class of technology, wearables run a gamut of shapes, intended uses, and placements on the body, as well as what types of phenomena they interact with. Notably, wearable sensors can either passively detect and measure the strengths of stimuli, or actively react to them by triggering a response, sometimes both. Thus, example wearables include a fitness tracker worn around the wrist to detect movement, like the Fitbit, as well as an e-textile garment covering the torso, worn to harvest energy from electromagnetic fields present in the environment. Both can aid in the medical monitoring of warfighters. DoD agencies are advancing the use of wearable sensors that go well beyond just detecting how many steps you've taken today or charging your cell phone with photovoltaic cloth. Wearable devices similar to the Fitbit and increasingly in a temporary patch or tattoo form can detect and track a warfighter's core body temperature, blood pressure, the rates and the electrical activity of the heart, hydration levels, and a multitude of other biomarkers. DoD researchers are also investigating ways of tracking a warfighter's levels of the neuropeptide orexin-A, known as the sleep molecule. Low levels of orexin-A in the bloodstream typically indicate exhaustion, a key data point for DoD leaders to have in hand when making tactical decisions regarding forces in the field. One of our SMEs, Dr. Gloria Emanuel Avina of Sandia National Laboratories, explains next what aspects of physiological monitoring are most useful to DOD. Warfighters could use wearables to help detect exposure to chemical and biological agents by having devices that quantify what is a person's normal functioning, what markers are related to fatigue and stress, and then what differentiating markers are related to exposure. So by measuring different markers of performance from physiology to cognitive markers to biological markers, that can be just um, your sweat, your saliva, your blood markers, um, we would hone in or we could hone in on what and how markers give signs of fatigue versus what markers are indicative of a chemical and biological exposure. So the research is really needed to understand what these differentiating markers are. Perhaps the most salient fact about wearable technology is how quickly it is expected to grow. Dr. Emanuel Avina describes what she thinks the wearables field will look like in the near future. In terms of where uh, the future of DoD is going with wearable technologies, uh, ideally in three to five years we would get to real-time monitoring, non-invasive devices, as well as devices that are integrated with the person, even embedded in the person, so that uh, passive monitoring can occur. Um, and uh, the research could also help us know exactly what markers to measure for human performance in order to make that differentiation between a chem bio exposure versus a, an, um, a health event that's related to physical fatigue or some other health event. Thanks for watching. Check out hdiac.org and don't forget to follow us on social media.